Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll be going over how to profile the different subcomponents of a solver so that you can get a detailed view on where the simulation time is spent and on what parts of the solver. So this, this procedure uh, is applicable to any solver, but here I'm going to do it to uh, pimple dim foam. So uh, in the tutorial case files we have uh, these uh, listed here. Um, this log file is the result of running our new solver on on a the propeller case, which can be found in the pimple dim foam section of the tutorials of the standard open foam files. Um, and since that took several minutes, I pre-computed it here, and we'll look take a look at it later. Um, so I have the original stored. Uh, the original uh, pimple dim foam solver stored in the folder original here. So, uh, so what I basically did to make the new one was simply copy this, and as detailed in the previous tutorial, we just changed all the names in the appropriate files and and the file names to our new solver name, and then uh, I added the timing functions, uh, the timing uh, code. So first, we'll take a look at the original source file. Um, it's a pretty short main loop, a ton of includes, of course, and a lot of it, uh, they can each contain a lot of code, but the the main big parts of the uh, um, of the code at, at a pretty high level of abstraction are easily visible, so here's the main loop, and you have the initialization, and here here's the main um, uh, simulation runtime loop. Uh, determination of the time step, mesh updates. This propeller case contains uh, the AMI, which is the sliding mesh interface. And uh, so, yeah, this pertains to that, and then the flux uh, computations, and then the pressure velocity solver, and then the writing out of case files, and that's it. So in our new solver, which I've named Pimpled Infoam Timed, all we do is include a little stopwatch for each component of the time that I want to keep track of. So I, I created a little source, a uh, little class called stopwatch. It's very simple, very small, as you can see. Um, and all it does is uh, keep track of the total time, and you just call start and stop to add more time to it. So. So as you can see here, uh, for the whole simulation, I say total time dot start, and at the e very end of the simulation, I say total time dot stop, and then this is a printout of all the times that were recorded, and we'll we'll take a look at that later on one run of the propeller tutorial case, and you can see I was able to time each little subcomponent u equation time dot start u equation time dot stop. This is where the u equation uh, uh, code is contained. So you know, with this, we we do all the little subcomponents and find out where exactly all the time is being spent. So, so yeah, that's all there is to it. And the, you uh, you can compile it the same way as I've done in a previous tutorial. And it's very very simple to implement. So, um, and you don't need to be an expert in C plus plus or anything. I mean, e or even a Beginner, you can just copy the copy the code there and uh, have it run. Um, so, so yeah, just changing. Don't forget to change the solver in the control dictionary of uh, the propeller case to your new solver, Pimple Dim. And th I shorten the end time so that it runs fairly quickly. We're just interested in the in in the runtime, so we don't need to actually run it for uh, many iterations. So here's the results. At the very end, the printout occurs. So let's scroll down to the very end. And we can see these very interesting results. So the total runtime was 166 seconds, as recorded by my um, uh, timer. Uh, that's in pretty good agreement with, uh, I mean, with, with the default open foam. I mean, there's probably some differences in where it was timed and stuff. So that, that's where the difference com comes from. Uh, so you can see that I have this thing called main loop time and it's 94 percent so that means if we look at the script
I, I, I did the main loop time inside of the while loop, whereas the total time is just outside the while loop, which means this command here takes 6% of the runtime, which is quite, quite a lot for such a small thing. So I haven't looked in depth in this, but I, I found it kind of surprising when I first saw it. And we can see that the mesh update time is 16% of the runtime, um, which is uh, ex um, to be expected because you're rotating the mesh and you know and then interpolating between the moving interfaces. So, and the actual solver time takes uh, about 78%. Um, and I went further and split it up. These these here, these tabbed ones here, add up to 78%. Um, but they're just the different subcomponents. So the U equation t took 30 about 29 percent, and the pressure equation took about 38 percent, while the turbulence model took uh, about 10.4 percent. So here, especially if you're making modifications to optimize a solver runtime, it's helpful to know where the time is actually being spent, so you can uh, uh, devote your efforts to those sections. So this gives a very nice view of where the time is spent. And we know that the major components are the while loop con condition, the mesh update time, U equation, P equation, and turbulence model. And the rest amounts to a mm, few percent. So, um, so yeah, all of the files are contained in the in the uh, tutorial GitHub uh, with the link in the description. Um, and that's how you modify a solver to profile uh, where the time is being spent. Thanks for watching and happy foaming.